Hey guys, I am back with a tag video. I was tagged by the Horror Fan Man, and the title of this tag is the Horror Sequel Tag. Now this tag was created by a YouTuber by the name of Movie Review Time. And uh, there's nine questions here, so I'm gonna go through them real quickly, and then I'm gonna tag two people. All right, so first up, we have Best Horror Sequel. And for that, I'm gonna go with Final Destination 2. Um, really do love this sequel, it's my favorite in the series especially as a, as a part two. Um, like overall, my favorite horror sequel is Dawn of the Dead, but I read somewhere that Romero doesn't consider that to be a sequel to Night of the Living Dead. And um, it's kind of, it could also work as a standalone picture. So I decided to go with a film that was a more direct sequel, which should be Final Destination 2. I love the dust in that. I love the setup. It's pretty much my favorite sequel for this, for these purposes. All right, question number two is worst horror sequel and that's going to go to the heretic um, which is exorcist 2 um, and the reason why i choose that one is because the first film was so important and it terrified people and to have such an unscary sequel to like one of the scariest movies of all time at least at that time is kind of pathetic like i almost wish they just went and just did a rehash and say oh look we got two possessed little girls now we doubled up you know as opposed to just like this wonky, whatever the hell they were trying to do. So that's my answer for that. Okay, question number three is underrated sequel, horror sequel. And for that, I'm gonna go with The Gate 2. Um, I know it just recently got a Blu-ray release from Scream Factory, but people don't talk about that one as much as they do for uh, the original Gate film, so I figured I'd go with that. All right, uh, the next question is overrated, or the most overrated horror sequel. And for that, I'm gonna go with Evil Dead 2. I know a lot of people love this film. This is a film I enjoyed as well. I have it on multiple formats. But um, a lot of people prefer this film to the original. And for me, it, this is a compromised film. Like, most of the gore scenes were cut out of it. Um, it's sillier than this first film. It's not as relentless as the original Evil Dead. And for me, it just doesn't really cut it as much. You know, like, um, like even the... Uh, Ash vs. the Evil Dead series is gorier than uh, the original Evil Dead 2. So that's my pick for that question. Alright, so on to question uh, number 5, which I believe is um, Best Death Scene. And for that, I'm going to go with um, the locker room death scene in Hello, Mary Lou Prom Night 2. I always loved that scene. There's some great cheesecake leading up to the death. It's where the girl's trying to hide from the possessed girl and she goes into the lockers and then the girl uses her powers to crush the lockers and you see the blood gush out. I always love that scene. It was a highlight of that movie for me. All right. Um, question number six is best gore scene. And for that, I'm going to go with Victor Crawley. And in that film, I'm going to go with uh, Felicia Rose's death scene in that where I think he tears off her arm when she's on a cell phone and and then rubs it, rams it up her crotch through her mouth. There's a lot of good gore in that. It was a funny gig after that as well. So that's my uh, answer for that. All right. Now, now this is where, okay. Now the next question is, uh, horror sequel that you used to hate but now love. And for that, I'm going with Friday the 13th, part five. And was, I really hated this film when I first initially saw it, mainly because it, pretty much undid most of what happened in the film before and part before was a, at the time a decent ending for the series but uh, I recently rewatched it and I had a great time with it. It is such a loopy movie and, and it's actually now my favorite of the Friday the 13th sequels so there's that. Now uh, the next question is horror sequel that you used to love but now hate and that's actually Friday the 13th part 6. When I initially saw that when I was a kid, I thought it was the greatest thing. I loved the fact that it was self-referential and making fun of itself. But watching it now is just, you know, the kills, most of the kills are lame. A couple take place off screen. There's like no nudity. Um, it's just, to me, it's just a lame film. All right. Uh, the next question, I think this is like the last question, is uh, best horror ending. And that goes to Halloween 4. I really lo do love the ending of that. And I really wish they continued on that storyline for part 5. But they kind of wimped out. Which is unfortunate. 
Um, I would have loved to see the Jamie Lloyd character as the killer for the series as a continuation. That's a really, really cool idea. All right, so I think that's it. I hope I did nine. I'm going to go back and count after I'm done filming this video. And if I do, then, you know, if you're watching this, then I actually got nine questions. I did this by memory. All right, I'm going to uh, tag two people now. I'm going to tag uh, Papa Jube and uh, Foggy Lungs. So you two have been tagged if you watch this video. So looking forward to see what you guys pick. All right, thanks for watching, guys, and I'll talk to you all later.